Welcome to another Olive and Top treasure. This next one, whew, it was prophesied that Yeshua had to be lifted up. We found it in Numbers 3, verse 40, and it is Vasa et. And I'll show you here Vasa et. And the verse says, Then Yahweh said to Moshe, Number all the firstborn males of the children of Israel from a month old and above, and literally lift up the olive and tav, number of their names. This one? Huh. Let's go to uh, John 3.14, just for some... Uh, to show that John knew about this prophecy. In John 3, 14, we have, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Sa. Now we're going to go to John 8, 28. And this verse says, Then Yeshua said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am He, and that I do nothing of myself. But as my Father taught me, I speak these things. It was prophesied back in Numbers 3 that the Son of Man, Yeshua, who is represented by the olive and tav, would have to be lifted up. And then we'll go to John 12, verse 32, and it says, And I, if I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all to myself. This he said, signifying but what, by what death he would die. So Yeshua had to be lifted up. It was prophesied by Moses. I also want to show you another little similarity. Hold on a second. Let me get back to Numbers 3, verse 40. All right. I'm going to put up here. The word for lamb, which is a shin and a hay. But you will notice that the root word for lamb is a sh actually a sin. This is a sin, not a shin. Is a sin and an olive and a hay. You'll be able to see that from this picture I put up there. Very profound these. This one almost made me cry when I found it. Sorry, tough guys, but I love this stuff. I hope you're enjoying it as well as as much as I am. Thanks.